A perfect storm for evictions is forming all around us. The homeless have no right to turn every park and sidewalk into a place for them to squat. Eviction rates in many U.S. cities have returned to or exceed pre-pandemic levels. Close to 60,000 families were evicted just last year. More than 200 tenants here at James River Point have had an eviction case brought up to them this month. When I'm back in the White House, we will use every tool, lever, and authority to get the homeless off our streets. In recent years, the rate of rent price growth has tripled, making housing increasingly unaffordable for millions of Americans. Under my strategy, working with states, we will ban urban camping wherever possible. Violators of these bans will be arrested, but they will be given the option to accept treatment and services if they're willing to be rehabilitated. Many of them don't want that, but we'll give them the option. This means that many struggling U.S. families are about to lose their homes as they fall behind payments and evictions start to pile up all across the country. We will then open up large parcels of inexpensive land, bring in doctors, psychiatrists, social workers, and drug rehab specialists, and create 10 cities where the homeless can be relocated and their problems identified. Hope Village opened up about a year ago to residents with 100 or so tents, and it has been a very popular place for the homeless to move into. Over the last year, Catholic Charities, they've been transforming their village of tents and building these Hope Cottages as well. This is a neighborhood in eastern Ybor, and the tiny apartment homes are equipped with electricity, heating, and bedding. The village also has showers and provides meals for the residents here, and they also have a more permanent structure in the work with laundry facilities, a kitchen, and a larger dining facility as well. Now, the village is designed to be a transitional space to help the homeless get back on their feet and into more stable housing. Our first consideration should be the rights and safety of the hardworking, law-abiding citizens who make our society function. To over 110 million. All infected Americans are being forced into quarantine camps.